Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. So, it has been absolutely ages since I filmed just like a sit down video where I talk one on one with the camera like this. But obviously for us Fort Park fans, the past week has been a very interesting one. I've sat here for days wondering how I go about talking or addressing this on my YouTube channel because as I'm sure you all know, Fort Park is how I started this channel. I started going as a fan, I filmed my own little vlogs at the park and it eventually got to the point where I started working with the park um, and I'm now in this position where I was in the videos that the park put out announcing this whole big rebrand and new logo. Myself and Archie actually filmed our live reaction. We were sat right here as the new logo got revealed. I've had that video edited for the past few days, but as I'm sure you would have seen on my channel, I, I haven't put that video out. And the reason for that is because I just wanted to let the dust settle a bit. Obviously there was a very, very, very strong reaction when Fort Park put out that video. I just wanted to give it some time to let the dust settle, let everyone calm down a little bit um, so that I can properly think about what I want to talk about in today's video. And yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be talking all about the brand new logo and rebrand from the park. So yeah, first of all, just to be super transparent, I don't actually work for Fort Park. Whilst yeah, I was in this entire mini series that Fort Park put out and obviously you guys see me wearing like a Fort Park lanyard and stuff. The way I always put it is I work with the park. I'm not technically a Fort Park member of staff, which is it's all very complicated. And to be honest, you guys don't really need to worry about it, but I just like to be as transparent as possible nowadays. And in terms of this rebrand and new logo and stuff, no, I did not design the new logo. I've done loads of design work for Fort Park over the past few years, um, but this logo was not mine. I've done very little work-wise in regards to this rebrand, but naturally, with this relationship that I have with the park, I've seen this rebrand kind of happen and I've given my own advice and input when I've been asked for it from the team at Fort Park. So I think we'll start off with probably the most controversial part of this whole thing, the logo itself. Now, as I said, I've been watching this rebrand take place over the past few years. So I've seen this logo for a long time now, and it's got to the point where seeing that logo on my screen is more normal or has been more normal than seeing the Infinity logo recently. But going into this big reveal, I think myself and multiple other people were expecting um, backlash just because the Infinity logo that the park had before is such an iconic logo. And I think we all knew that. We all had a connection with it, as I said in the mini series. This logo is more than just a symbol. It's a piece of Forbes shared history. Many of you have grown up with it holding on to countless memories. If I'm honest, that's the reason I didn't live stream after the announcement. I just didn't want to have to deal with what presumably would be a chat full of just L, 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 not a fan, go back to how it was. I didn't want to put that pressure on myself to deal with that live. Um, so I went live before and ended my stream just as a um, kind of new logo got revealed in that video. And yeah, obviously once that logo did get revealed, the backlash did in fact come and there was quite a lot of um, people that were shocked and maybe weren't such big fans. And I'm not for a second defending anything. I think everyone has their own opinion. You are more than welcome to not like the logo. Um, as I said, it is a very big shock. What hasn't been very nice to see, however, is some of the ruthless comments that have come out online. People have said some very, very nasty things and it's just not nice to see. Um, people have gone after me. I didn't even design the logo. I've had, as I said, I've had very little to do with the rebrand. And yeah, I've decided to put my like half my life on the internet. So I'm used to mean comments. But seeing people that I know for a fact care so much about the park, um, the team that have actually decided to make this happen, seeing them just get ripped to shreds has not been nice at all. One thing that I will say, about the new logo and most people like the majority of comments have been great they've been constructive they've been like honest and fair but then there's the odd comment that you just think there are actual people behind these decisions that i know for a fact are reading this and will be affected by this like it'll be impossible not to be affected by some of the absolutely disgusting things i've read so yeah the logo has obviously been the kind of main focus for a lot of people um but 
If you actually went and watched the whole mini series, you will have known that the logo is just a very small part of this entire new rebrand coming to the park. And the whole point of the mini series was to kind of take a look at what history Fort Park has gone through to this point where the decision was made to rebrand and kind of take the park into this new direction. So yeah, within this mini series, the park was very honest. Um, we kind of looked at good and bad things that have happened in the past. And in fact, the entirety of that last episode of the miniseries was kind of looking into the future of the park. And I think people are very much overlooking just how exciting this rebrand is. Um, there's multiple different projects happening at the park. We've got a brand new roller coaster, the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the UK coming to the park. And this roller coaster is not a dark theme. Um, obviously, we've had rides like the Swarm, Ghost Train, the Walking Dead, the ride, all in the past decade. And as part of this rebrand and future of Fort Park, they're saying that we're no longer just focusing on these dark themes. This new ride is about positivity, it's about light. And also in terms of like the brand identity, they're being more open. Like the annual pass group that they run has constant updates that myself and the park work on together to bring you guys and keep you updated with even the smallest bits of construction and updates that take place at the park. They're being very honest online. If a ride's gonna be broke, it's on the website. Obviously we've got a whole new color scheme. Um, and as you've seen, if you kind of follow a lot of the community on Twitter and stuff, Fort Park is slowly kind of showing how they're gonna be using this logo in context. And I know a lot of people weren't a massive fan of the logo when they just showed it on this blank screen, but now that they've kind of seen it on um, like the merch designs and kind of poster designs and the actual kind of branding and marketing aspects of the park, like even when we went to this IMA score event the other night, we saw like the, uh, the Fort Park logo and the new swirls and color scheme used for the first time. And yeah, I think it's very much a matter of kind of waiting and seeing this logo and the new branding in context. Because as I've said, I've seen this rebrand for months. I'm used to it now and I'm very, very excited to see it kind of implemented into the park's marketing and branding. Seeing it in context will really help. And just another note, because I feel like this has gone over a lot of people's heads, um, but they have actually paid homage to some of the older logos um, with this design. For example, the O, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of, but the middle of that O is actually the exact um, uh, shape that was used in the blue circle on the Infinity logo. So I know a lot of people have been like, oh, it's just the most boring logo ever, but it does, if you look into it, actually pay homage to some of the previous Fort Park history. So yeah, as you can probably tell, I'm very excited for the future of Fort Park. You might just think I'm just yes man in the park. I've been paid off, as I explained. That's not the case at all. I haven't been told to make this video. I've spent the past decade uploading videos on this channel keeping you updated with all of the latest Fort Park updates. And this is a huge one. The logo's changed, we've had a whole rebrand. So I wanted to make this video to actually talk about my honest thoughts. I'm not saying you guys have to agree with me, but I'm saying trust the process. I know for a fact that the team that have worked on this rebrand um, genuinely care about the park so much and they've got exciting plans for the future. Thank you all so much for watching another video. There will be a Hyperion update out very soon here on the channel, so be sure to subscribe for that. And otherwise, my name is Jack Silkstone. Goodbye. Yeah, my team front row when we jump on a train. Got the merch on repping SLK. Island flex when I step through the gate. Country fresh with the style on flames. Yeah, yeah. Drip, drip, tart, now I'm vibing. Link with the boys, jump straight to the yeah, island. Yeah. Silkstone flex and I wave like tidal. Style so crazy, I hit it in asylum. Ride, ride, ride. Every day riding, thrill seat car, that's the way that I like it. Style so sick, yeah, we jump to the bridge, take pics with the gang, then we watch the horizon. <laughs>